Let's bring in meteorologist Megan Claros of our CBS Chicago station. Megan, uh, what is the forecast right now? Yeah, Jeff, it's really just getting started in some areas. We're talking about the potential for more cold tonight. We still have wind chill advisories, wind chill warnings in place from the Dakotas stretching all the way on off to the Atlantic at this point and moving forward. Temperatures could break more records tonight. We dropped to minus 25 in Chicago, 29 below Minneapolis, 31 below in Fargo and the cold spreads east. So now by tomorrow we are looking at minus 19 or excuse me, 19 in Boston, minus six in Green Bay, minus nine in International Falls, and minus one for Minneapolis. Those are your high temperatures tomorrow, but this doesn't last forever, thankfully. We'll have to deal with it again tomorrow, but by the weekend, things begin to change. Tomorrow, we'll still be in some areas 50 degrees below the norm, warming into March-like temps by Sunday, Jeff. Okay, so Megan, there has been a lot of discussion recently about why we certainly do seem to be seeing more of these extreme weather events whether it's fires, hurricanes, a cold snap like this. Can you talk about that? Right. Well, the polar vortex, we'll talk about that because we're in the midst of it right now. It essentially sits up over the poles. It's a large scale circulation that when strong stays in place. When that circulation weakens, it sends a lobe of colder air farther south. That's what we have in place right now. There is some speculation from scientists that as Arctic temperatures warm, we will see more of a disruption of that circulation. Now, in the future, could that mean more frequent occurrences of the polar vortex? It is a possibility and certainly something that bears watching and studying in the future, Jeff. Megan Glaros, thank you very much.